Like, it was a, probably that night, not long after I started praying to the Lord, you know, and I was saying, hey, you know, I really want to know um, what's going on supernaturally. I want to know, can you reveal, like, something, some kind of proof, you know, some kind of evidence or whatever, because I was still very, you know, science-minded and, and, and things like that. Could you, could you reveal those things to me? And, um, you know, I also, I remember, uh, not only for me, but I remember uh, I had did a video a while back where I had prayed that God revealed the supernatural. Because I knew that there was some supernatural things going on. It's just that it, uh, there wasn't much clarity. And um, I wanted to, I wanted definitively to have an experience. It's, you know, something that just could not be debated, could not be refuted. And I, I did that. And not long after that, I had these... Uh, uh, this, these security cameras that were set up outside my home, you know, and, and things, watching, uh, facing the road and stuff like that, in front of my place and in my near my driveway as well, and uh, just on this peculiar night, man, like these lights, these beaming lights, these orbs just started floating in, and everything like that around my security cameras, and I could just see them, you know, moving. And at first, I'm thinking like, okay. This is some kind of uh, bug or some kind of light bug or something or a uh, uh, dragon. What is it called? A, a, a firefly or something like that. Um, the, those light bugs or whatever it is that move. I thought it was some kind of bug. And I was, you know, looking to do some research on it. And because they were moving back and forth. And after a while, I started thinking, I'm like, maybe it's, it, it doesn't appear to be a bug. They got closer. I still couldn't actually see the, the figure of the bug, the because, you know, you would see the detail, the legs and, uh, you know, just the, the whole um, formation of it and all that. The form. And um, there was none of that. And I, I, I remember getting up and I went to go check to see if there was like, is there really something physical out there? There was nothing physical out there that I could see. There were lights that were moving, guys. Went back, checked my feed again, my camera feed. The lights are there. Okay. Went and checked and looked and was like, what's going on? Okay, so since I can't see there's something physical here, surely this must be some kind of error or some kind of uh, artifact or, you know, uh, something going on with the sensor in the camera or something like that. Okay, something technical, right? The logic, right? Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to examine this. I'm looking at settings to see if there's something wrong with the lighting or if there's something like that restarted it. You know, there's things that you can do. Turn it off, on, whatever. Look at this, you know, I'm doing this. These things are still here. Actually, one of the lights ends up uh, going into the driveway is what ends up happening. Like, it's not just going like this anymore. It actually comes up, boom, like this. Goes back. How can this be something uh, with the light if this thing is doing this? And then not only that, it went into the distance. It hovered over the floor about maybe uh, three or four feet off the ground and started doing this. How can that be something wrong with the light? How can there be something wrong with the or the, the system in the camera or whatever it is or a device or a, comp, a, a part or something like that and it starts going like this then comes up again like this goes back and i'm looking i'm like what the heck is going on here you know and then it occurred to me this is super this is a supernatural event that's happening okay this is this must be some kind of uh a spirit is what I is what came popped into my head. Okay, I I, I did I googled and I was talking looking up uh, stuff about orbs and all this kind of stuff. People were talking about these lights. Other people, you can Google it now. And then there are people that are saying these are spirits and stuff. And uh, these are actually real. These are tangibly here. You just can't see them with your naked eye for some particular reason. And I I believe it was my prayer. My prayer allowed God allowed me to see these on my camera. He allowed me to see. At first, I could not see them. I've never seen these things. On the on my camera or anything like that, and then on this particular night, I saw them. Okay, so I, I think God gave just revealed that to me, answered my prayer. Okay, and that when that started to happen, I knew that okay, if demons are real, because these are spirits, they're not angels, so these must be demons. And if they're real, then that means God is real. Okay, and if God is real, and these are in fact these are spirits, God created them. And then it just occurs to me, we live in the narrative of the Bible. The, the, the biblical story of Judeo-Christian is the true meta-narrative, guys, for our existence. It's real. All the others are false. I'll get into that later, but it occurred to me. It just, it, I felt it inside me. I was like, and just not only that, but I had rationalized it, too. Just from, it just came to me. And I was like, okay, this is what's going on. Okay, and from that point on, I had to 
uh, uh, I mean, this is undeniable proof that I'm seeing here that there is the supernatural, that spirits exist, and that, you know, obviously God exists, you know, Satan exists. If Satan exists, hell exists. But if hell exists, obviously there's a heaven, right? Okay? So, and if hell exists, that means you could go in, that means that people are going to be in there. 